One of the more fascinating tidbits that emerged from ESPN's expose into Dan Snyder's brewing war against the NFL is that one of his closest allies all along has been Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. What? You're heading towards a shadowy intersection of sports and secrets. You've just crossed over into Conspiracy Thursday. Commander's owner Dan Snyder is facing a host of investigations ranging from state attorney generals, Congress, and the National Football League. Curiously though, Jerry Jones has quietly advocated for Snyder among owners, even amidst these investigations. Why would Jones be so supportive of Snyder? Well, to put it plainly, Jones appears to be using Dan Snyder as a human meat shield. For one, Snyder and Jones are both degenerates. Snyder is under investigation for sexual harassment, interfering with that investigation, intimidating witnesses, and a slew of other deplorable acts. Meanwhile, Jones has his own track record of slimy behavior we won't get into. But Commanders and Cowboys have been at each other's necks for decades. They're worse than the Hatfields and the McCoys. However, Dallas has left the Commanders in the dust in the past few decades. NFL franchise valuations have skyrocketed across the board since then, but some more than others. In 2000, soon after Snyder had bought the team, the NFL's highest valued franchise was Washington's. Today, the Commanders have fallen to sixth with a value of $5.6 billion, whereas the Cowboys are the NFL's first $8 billion franchise. With Snyder in place, the Cowboys' chief rival has essentially been neutered and their brand is tanking. Basically, a Commanders franchise mired in lawsuits, awash in incompetent leadership, and drawing fire from Jones' misdeed is another win in the Cowboys' book. Jerry's playing chess while Snyder's playing checkers. But what happens if Snyder ever figures out that he's Jerry's useful idiot? Guess we'll have to tune in to find out. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.